Hi guys, so today I've got a new series for you. I've been waiting a while to get these swatch sticks to do this series. I usually use um, clear swatch sticks, but after seeing a few videos I decided that for this particular um, swatching that I want to do, I think the, the coloured ones are going to be a little bit better. Um, so basically there's um, some polishes in my collection that I really want to look at how they compare to each other. Um, so I've got a few sets of two to show you today, um, so I hope you like it. Okay, so today I've got four sets of two to go through with you. Um, the first two, I've got this Sally Hansen Lustre Shine in Scarab. And I've got the Barry M Nail Paint from the Aquarium Collection. And has this one got a name? Yep. Pacific. I'm sorry for catching any of the um, outside noise. Some just decided now would be a good time to do some strimming or something. Anyway, let's get started. So, first I'm going to do a coat of the Sally Hansen one. Okay, so after the first coat, it covers quite well and it's gone really on really nicely. Any streaks have sort of smoothed themselves out. So let's see how the Barry M1 compares. Ooh. The Barry M1 is actually a lot sheerer. As you can see there. So that's after one coat of each. Now in the bottle, let's do them up before I spill them everywhere. In the bottle, they look, depending on what light you're in, they look very similar. So this is why I was quite intrigued by these two. So we'll come back to those two in a moment for a second coat. Uh, the next two, I've got a Leighton Denny. And this one, sorry, I have to find the names. It's called Sophisticated. And to compare with it, I've got a limited edition Barry M nail paint from Boots. Um, I don't know if it's got another name, let me know if you know or not, because you know I like the names on things. So let's give these two a try. Right. So this is the first coat of the Leighton Denny. It's actually a little more sheer than it looks in the bottle. So that's one coat there. They're both like a sort of pinky purpley colour. Um, and they are both just straight creams. So let's try a coat of the Barry M. Oh gosh, look at that. It's so weird how polishes can look the same and then when you get them onto your nails or on swatch sticks they look so different. So there's those two. So the Barry M is this side and that's covered. Oh, I'm almost wanting to say that could be a one coater. I'd have to try it on my nails for that but um, for for the use of this thing, I'm probably going to do a second coat on it. Oh, and I've just smudged one of my other ones now. Uh, I'll just show you these two again next to each other in the bottle. Because they do look pretty much identical. Although, in the sun, this one has actually, I've just noticed, got a slight purpley shimmer to it. So maybe that's why it's a little bit on the sheer side. Uh, the next two are two china glazes. Now I've got, which one's this? Dashboard Dreamer, which oh, I can't remember. I don't know if this was from a summer collection actually. I got it from Sally's Beauty, um, and I think it was on offer when I got that one. And to compare it to, I've got Pearl Jammin. Now, I know Pearl Jammin has got you can evidently see there the difference, but when they're on my shelf next to each other, they look quite alike. So, I just wanted to sort of have a look how these two work together. Oh, this one doesn't want me to open it. So, let's see. First I'll do a coat of Dashboard Dreamer. Oh, it's quite a creamy shimmer this one. And the colour's not very apparent on this sort of swatch stick there. Um, so next to that I'm going to do a coat of Pearl Jamming. Make sure I don't smudge any of the others. There we go. They're probably about the same in opacity. But straight away the shimmer on um, Pearl Jamming shows up. 
you can sort of see there. So those two are both very, very light blues. If anything, I think the shimmer is probably going to be the only difference. Um, and the last two I've got to go through with you today are two Essies. As you can see on camera, they look very, very similar. Oh, whoops, sorry. And this is the case when, they're, again, they're up on my shelves. Uh, this one here is Life of the Party, and that was from a special edition collection. And this one is Ready to Boa. So, we'll start with Ready to Boa. Right. Oh gosh, that was, sorry, that was a bit... Oh, as you can see, this one's really thick. And that is pretty much opaque in one coat, actually. <clears throat> it's quite interesting doing this because when I've done my normal swatch sticks, I've never always um, really looked at whether they've been one coated or not. So um, this is quite interesting for me. Oh, now this one, that's now this is really interesting actually, because that one has got quite a ready tint when it's on the nail. So that one was Life of the Party, and that's next to Ready to Boa, which like I said, when they're in the bottle, they look quite similar. So that's one coat of all of them, and I'm going to go back and do a second coat to see how it changes them. Now I've smudged this Sally Hansen one because I didn't, I'm didn't. i not very dainty. Um, but I'm going to do a second coat of the Scarab one. There we go. So you could probably get away with two coats of this one. And it's a really dark, really rich coloured one. I really like that one actually. Um, and then we'll do another coat of the Barry M. Oops. So again, it comes out quite sheer. Um, it's still a really pretty colour, but it's so it's it's unbelievable how different they are on the nail to how they are in the bottle. It's almost the Barry M's almost more of a subtle one. Whereas the Lustre Shine one is um, was quite rich. So that's two coats of both of those. And now back to the Leighton Denny and the Barry M. Oops, I forgot I've done them up. I'll have to be careful otherwise I'm going to end up spilling polish everywhere. Right. So another coat of the Leighton Denny. This one is, you can, this one could be a two coater. And after the second coat, it's slightly closer in colour to the other Barry M. Um, but like I say, the Barry M I think could be a one coater. Oops. Yeah, see, that's so thick. So those two are very, very similar. In fact, I think the Leighton Denny is probably going to go into my D-stash because I don't need both. And as the Barry M is a limited edition, I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. So now back to the China Glazes. So Dashboard Dreamer is just, a, although it looks like it's got a shimmer in the bottle, it pretty much is a straight up cream. Um, very, very pale actually. Oh, now I've got a hair on it from somewhere. As you can see, the camera unfortunately is not picking up the blue shades as much as I'd like it to. But that's. See, they're, they're quite. Like I say, the camera's not picking these up as well, but um, they are quite different. They're based on a similar blue shade, but the um, pearl jam in it is obviously just so much more shimmery. There we go. So I'll probably end up keeping both of those. I haven't got many tiny glazes, so uh, I don't want to get rid of any particularly. Right, now onto Ready to Boa. Oh yeah, that one it was no doubtly a one-coater. I've just put on two coats and it's not really made a difference. 
So my camera decided to run out of battery as I was doing the second coat on these two. Um, so here we've got Ready to Boa and Life of the Party. Uh, Life of the Party has definitely got more red in it. So they are actually quite different out of the bottle. But as I showed you before, in the bottle they are very, very similar. Um, so I will be keeping both of those. So just to recap on them, we had the Barrier M and the Sally Hansen Lustre Shine, which are these two. The Lustre Shine is going to be staying with me and the Barrier M is going to be going in the D stash. And then we had Leighton Denny and my Barry M Limited Edition. So I'm going to keep the Limited Edition Barry M. Um, and the Leighton Denny is actually going to go in the D stash because they're so similar that I really don't need both. Um, and the China Glazes, I'm keeping both because I was just comparing those anyway just to see because um, Dashboard Dreamer has got a slight shimmer in it which is similar to the one in Pearl Jamming. Um, but they, unfortunately they're quite light, so the camera doesn't pick the colour up great on those two. Um, and then there were the two S's, and like I said, I'm going to keep both of those because they are actually quite different. So that's all four lots of comparisons. So thanks for watching that guys, I hope it's something that you enjoyed, if you've got any of the polishes that I've shown let me know, uh, let me know if it's something that you'd like to see again because I'm sure I've got plenty of polishes I could compare for you. Thanks again for subscribing, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time, bye.